Greetings, Commanders. This is Pagan Horde, and I would like to do a Megbait talk and talk about a troll build. And what I mean by that is, imagine if something you thought about that it would be a great idea, but never in the main game did you get all the uh, parts needed, or uh, it was never really uh, possible. Well, let's try and recreate that in the Megbait. There's two of them. Uh, that I, are on top of my head that I've never been able to do in the main game, but I always thought well that could be something So let's try it now For the first one. I'll take the uh, long lone wolf uh, That is a hundred ton omni mech. Of course this could be done with the other 100 ton omni mech like uh, the iron cheetah or the dire wolf But uh, let's take the long wolf the lone wolf because he has a lot of omni points and uh, Just because it would be funny Let's take a look. So let's strip this bad boy. Marvelous. So by default, this guy has a good 50 ton to play with. With a 300 engine. He only has all the uh, stealth and Nova crew shenanigan already in it. He uh, has bonus with the hag. For in this case, we're not actually going to be using it. But uh, I like this guy because he has a nice symmetrical 666. Uh, Omni points. Now, the troll build that I'm talking about. This is at one point in uh, a season's playthrough. I came across a um, a store that had unlimited ammo for something for sale, and I I bought a bunch of it. And I thought to myself, well, that would be really cool, but never found enough weapons to do it. And that is the ammo narc explosive. Now, the NARC system is to usually do a beacon. You can get specialized ammo that actually does explode. So it does 25 damage, but most importantly, it does 10 damage directly to internal. So it's a through armor critical. With a plus 200% critical hit chance with this weapon. Which is slightly insane. Uh, because a NARC clan NARC launcher only weighs one ton. So we can probably see where I'm gonna go with this. 10 damage done directly to internal, which is a lot. So let's put a few of these on board. Let's say uh, just for six for now. And then lad, let's add a shit ton of knock launchers. So there's the I improved Narc Launcher as well, that you can do something like that. And the uh, ammo explosive is actually uh, more impressive. Uh, if we go back to the ammo, the I Narc explosive is 15 through armor and 40 damage, which is incredible. However, the weapon itself weighs more. Instead of being just one ton, it is four. Four tons. So for this uh, troll build, let's do the regular Narc Launcher. And let's put 24 of them. <laughs> if you give me just a moment, let's put 24 Narc Launcher on our Lone Wolf. Now the, the amazing thing is that it fits fairly easily too with this boy. Now the disadvantage is that this is a uh, relatively short range weapon and uh, this guy is a bit slow so getting into range with this would be a bit of a challenge in the uh, end game scenario. And uh, how about the heat? The heat is... we have a 66 delta so, uh, with proper heat management, I still have 19 tons to play with. So, yeah, with proper heat management, we can make this work. We can even, for shit and giggles, fill the last spot here and go 27. Or 25, pardon me. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Hahaha. <laughs> So the one out of two here is a bit of a lie because there's only one space left. So, what do we do with this? Well, it is a 12 shots per bin. 
So we were firing. Uh, well, let's just do 24 so it's easier to calculate. Because uh, 12 shots per uh, ammo bin, that means we're firing 2 tons of ammo per pull of the trigger. This means we're going to need a lot more of this. But first, let's give you some cooling. And let's go... Well, let's say we get the best of the best. Yoinks. Now, how much heat are we dealing with? We still have 37 delta. But we're going to give you... The good stuff. You can exchange your clan. Yoinks. And now we're at 15. So... Prototype. One. Two. Four hit delta. We'll work with that. So, does this work? Well, yes, it does. We The heat is sufficient. The narc launcher, yeah, we have them all. So, by firing 24 narc launcher, we would be doing 240 internal damage to something. Assuming uh, all of them hits, we're doing... 240 internal damage as well as 500 no pardon me 600 external damage in one volley <laughs> i mean this looks too good to be true to be honest with you but you know in game i always thought this would be a cool build but in game i've never found 24 narc launcher so I've never been able to do this. Let's assume that uh, an arc launcher will f be considered a missile. And let's give you sensor missile range to improve your range of the arc launcher dramatically. And uh, we can even afford to go uh, battle computer route because we have plenty of room and plenty of stuff. So we're, I'm not going to finish the rest of uh, the build, but you get the idea how this thing would be a ridiculous and it would be really funny to see what happens the other option which could be uh, even more troll like is to use a sticky bomb instead uh, pardon me the sticky bomb so the sticky bomb it does one turn delay before it fires and it has an area of effect to for everyone around it so imagine firing 24 sticky bombs running away laughing and waiting for it to happen. I mean, I would really love to see that. Sadly, uh, finding all these parts in the main game is a bit tricky. So I don't think it can be really uh, done unless you're really, really patient of getting it all. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is my example of a troll build. Which would be really fun to do. So, uh, do you guys have any other ideas? Uh, I have one more. So, I'm going to share one more with you. And let me know in the comments if you have other um, weird ideas like this. See you in a second. So, for the second part of this uh, troll build, there's a weapon system that I've seen maybe once in all my time in Rogue Tech. And uh, if I, when I find it, it's usually too late and never have enough quantity. But uh, it would be the perfect weapon for early to mid-game backstabber. Uh, before the big guns and the long range starts to win the game. So for that, let's take a look at a Stormcrow, which would be an ideal vessel for this. And let's just uh, grab one of the variants that has uh, 13 uh, Omni Points. There's others, of course, plenty of others, but some of them have 9. So let's go with one with 13 Omni Points, would be the G. Let's take a look at you. Let's strip. There we go. So we have 21 tons to play with. So, what weapon was I talking about? I was talking about, if you go all the way down the list of lasers, to a small thing called a small rotary cam laser. I've only seen this guy once. In like a few thousand hours. 
This thing is only 1.25 ton and it fires up to 6 times 15 of rotary cam lasers. Of course, the optimal range is only 130. This means it's point black or nothing. And it has a 5 variable damage, so it's hitting anywhere from 10 to 15. But it's still very funny. So imagine that you would have a mech like this in the early game. Imagine this. So these things, 3 times 15, so we could go 6 times 15, we are at the 90. And if we turn that by 6, we are looking at uh, 540 damage. Of course, with a variation of 5, so, so you never truly know how much you're going to hit. But imagine backstabbing with this. A lot of laughter would ensue. So, ammo, 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 ammo. This thing uses small cam laser ammo. Now, we don't have double of uh, cam laser small, but they have 60 shot per. And this would be 36 shots, so we can get away with something like six of these. And we still have plenty of tonnage. And this would be actually work. So if we give you some uh, heat sinking, some of the good stuff with uh, the exchanger clan. Let's go full derp with the prototype. Yeah, you're good. Let's uh, imagine that your firing at six will uh, be a lot more. So let's turn up the cool. You are a minus 35 heat delta. So I'm assuming you could fire this at maximum times six without jamming or without having any heat problem. Now these things can jam, which was my next train of thought. So we can give you this or that one for the minus 20 jam. Yep. Then we can give you energy heat jam and there you go maybe uh, medium range if we can make it fit medium range I don't think we even need the heat because we're heat neutral as is yeah so imagine in the early game having this which could do a maximum of 540 damage at point blank range <laughs> i've only seen the small rotary cam laser uh once and i've barely seen any ammo for it so getting all of that combination in the early game i don't think it's ever going to be possible however this would be a ultimate troll backstabber with janky small rotary cam lasers. Wow. Imagine that. But it now comes to the next point. Can you do something like this uh, on the uh, assault size? Maybe. Let's take uh, one last look at something and then we call this troll build a day. Give me a second. Now, for the last installment of this, we're going to take a look at the Fafnir Quick Cell. Now, why the Quick Cell? Well, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to get one of these later in my uh, full playthrough by doing the uh, Discount Dan event and paying a, four, a full 4 million C bill for it. However, I found out that this guy is low key one of the best mech in the game. And uh, if you ever get the, uh, the event of. Uh, Discount down, uh, paying up to 4 million. I say pay it. And we're going to take a look at why. So, this is a quick sell Fafnir, which makes it an Omni. And if we strip him, I mean, it's better, it's uh, possible to get a better engine to go faster. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep him at the classic 300, which will make him slow. 
which will make this build maybe not actually possible, but for the purpose of this, let's just try it. If we get XL Clan U at 300, you have 52 tons to play with, which is actually more is actually more than a proper uh, dire wolf. And if I give you all of this, the classic weight loss shenanigan, I have 61 tons of pod space, which is absolutely insane, which makes this mech in theory, up to my knowledge, the most, the, 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 the assault with the most room to play with. You have more than half. You're only using 39 and a half ton for its structure, armor, and engine, which is bonkers. Completely bonkers. I mean, there's plenty of things that you can do with this mech. With 60 tons. Of course, this leaves him a bit slow, only in the three, four sides. But let's take the uh, the rack, the rack uh, cam laser rack to its conclusion with something I have never been able to do as well. I've only been able I've only been able to loot two or three of this beauty, which is the large rotary cam lasers. Now this is low key one of the best weapon in the game. Uh, because it does a good range, and uh, and it's barely dependent on ammo. Like it, it, it's barely not as dependent on ammo as say the rack, the ballistic rack. So I've always wondered if I could do this. The heat of that will be insane, though. It's thirty-six heat, firing three times. So we can assume that it's going to go into the uh, 72 category if you're firing 6. But having 25 tons to play with, can we actually do this? Let's take a look. Because we would be looking into the 240 damage each. Yeah. We'll be looking into the over nine over 900 insert over 9,000 memes, but yeah, it's theoretically possible. So how do we make this happen? Well, well, well. Exchanger it is, of course. Let's go to, it's going to be the prototype route, of course. Now, what would be the best? That would be that one. Minus 40 hate gen generated by weapon fire. That's gotta be it. So we are at 7 heat delta as is. Let's uh, pile on the prototype heat sink. We may run into uh, not enough slots problems before we run into not enough weight. But we can easily take off one of these and actually make it work. Minus 26. Minus 47. Minus 68. Now it's hard to calculate how much in theory. But one thing we can do is perhaps give you this. And it does work. We can insulate them. Now we're out of room. There we go. This could work. 
this could work. Now, we don't have ammo for it right now, which is the main uh, next problem. But for now, we're looking at something that could actually work. Ammo. So, we would need a lot of that. If we look at the double, it is 40 shot. Now, we would be firing 12, 18, 24 per Alpha Strike. So, let's assume you're not going to fire that much Alpha Strike. Because um, you won't need to, in theory. So, can we make it work like this? We only have room for three bends as it is now and we are 2.2 tons overweight which we can just shave armor really but that would leave us with uh five to six alpha strike but it could work with the laser insulator maybe we won't need as much oh this is a uh, super heavy that's why uh -huh. In my current playthrough, I found a prototype heatsink plus, which mimics this a bit, which was a minus 30, but I don't think we have it here. We're going to have to go with the regular prototype, which is not as good. But the uh, minus two here, uh, delta here, does not uh, incorporate the minus twelve heat generated by the attached weapon and the minus three heat. So we can assume we have uh, twelve, uh, four times minus three heat by weapon, so another twelve less, and twelve percent, which would be firing this at maximum, would be another six or seven heat less so i don't know how this would work because we would i would need to pull the trigger and find out but technically this could technically this could and there is uh, of course there is a uh, 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 uh. I don't see the cooling jacket. I don't see the cooling jacket. Maybe it's me, but I don't see it. I cannot... Okay. Does the cooling jacket exist? I do know that. And I can, but uh, what else is there? The insulator is not working. Yeah, I cannot. Okay, I cannot. Well, it was worth a try. So laser insulator do not work. Which is a bit of a disappointment. So we're just going to add more prototype and uh, hope for the best. Really. Okay, so I don't know how that would work in terms of heat. We would probably uh, overheat by a good 30 uh, using all of these at the same time. But it will still be very funny. Very funny indeed. Now these things can jam. So let's, do, let's go with the same route and actually give you a battle computer heat, which would perhaps solve our problem. Yoinks. If we do that and we give you an energy, shave off some armor, which is not the best, but for shit and giggles and the purpose of this video, let's try it.
There we go. Now that, in my opinion, would be the ultimate disco machine. The ultimate disco machine would do a lot. A lot of damage. So it would be 240. Yeah, we're doing 960. This is a 960 damage machine. If everything hits. But it's a slow mech at 380 at 300 engine and just 34. So, not practical. I would I would actually never field this uh, unless I'm doing a troll build for shit and giggles uh, because it would be too slow for me in the end game. But you could unleash almost a thousand damage with this thing. A thousand dam a thousand disco damage, which makes it funnier. So okay, guys, I, that will be it. I think for our troll build video. Uh, this is completely impractical, I, but it's still funny. The uh, Narc Launcher would be really funny as well, but never got around to find all the parts needed. In the small, uh, small rotary cam laser on a storm grow would be really funny as well. There's another one, one last weapon system that would be hilarious to put maybe on a Viper. To be really f another backstabbing shenanigans would be the disco laser, which eight times three times four for ninety six, at three tons. Yeah. Disco laser. Uh, it comes from the tank called the party, uh, the party truck, and it's actually pretty rare, but it is fairly insane as well. So let me know what you think, guys, and what other kind of uh, thrall build do you have in mind? Things that you've seen and thought that would be cool, but were never able to do. Uh, because of putting together all of these items in the real game is uh, quite a challenge. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you again next time. Thank you for watching.